How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to another AQ Nostalgia Quest episode and for today's episode we will be going to Granamore Cemetery for facing the darkness. So let's go ahead and go to our travel map and Granamore. So there hasn't really been any large releases this week so for the most part it's been pretty boring but we'll just go ahead and continue on with our Nostalgia Quest series and see what uh, new and exciting stuff we can find okay so uh, to access the cemetery this is actually a little bit annoying because you do need to get through some of the monsters uh, first I think it's like two or four battles I can't really remember but yeah you need to get through them first before you can access the cemetery and Halem Rose statue. I don't know why they made it that way. I sort of wish that they would just remove the uh, the part whereby you need to fight uh, your foes first because it is a little bit annoying sometimes. But for the most part, they are pretty simple monsters. They are all darkness elements. So yeah, except for this guy that hits with earth. Okay, very weird. Undead river but hits with earth. Okay, there's, there's a few exceptions here and there. But for the most part, they are undead. Better claw again. And it's gonna use his SP attack, which we can just ignore, I think. Yeah, because it's 0 0.198, it's not gonna do much damage to us. Uh, the main quest that we want to do is facing the darkness by clicking on Halen Rose statue. And I think it's pretty new. Oh, it paralyzed us for one round. Okay, oh. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Never mind, we'll do that again. Uh, I think we sh should still have one more round of choke, right? Yep, okay. You can finish it off. Next, Vampire Warrior. Okay, this one should be pretty susceptible to the choke effect as well. Facing the darkness, quite a lot of dialogue, but I don't think there's a lot of battles, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of talking. Wait, actually maybe there are quite a lot of battles. Yeah, I'm at... Oh my god, wow. At least, yeah, it's a lot of battles. I don't know what the heck I was looking at. That is crazy. Why am I doing so little damage? Oh, he's healing. Oh, is that why? No wonder I'm like doing almost no damage to this guy. Okay, 0 0.07. It's not gonna be a threat anymore for the next 4 rounds, but... We keep missing 92. Vampires only heal, right? They don't inflict the minus BTH. Oh, at least not the warriors. Yeah, the other one does. Okay, there we go. Vamp. Yeah, this one inflicts the BTH, right? The minus BTH. Oh, it's four battles, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's four battles. Wait, you don't get a heal every two battles? Huh. Minus 55 to BTH. Oh god. Probably gonna miss. Yep, as expected. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna switch over to Spell Slinger because I don't want to die here. It'll be very stupid. Just because I insisted on using one armor. And man, the BTH reduction sucks. Oh, okay. My, we got one hit in. Still got a barrier up. Man, what in the world does this roll against? Why do you keep failing the safe roll? Certainly nothing to do with resistances, that's for sure. Yeah, I keep failing the roll. Is it rolling against charisma or what? Oh my god, that is so annoying. Okay, actually this is very very dumb. I'm just gonna drink a health uh drink a mana pot and then we'll try and bust it down with spells. Okay, awesome. You overcame it this time. No, 343 health left. Darn it. Ah got a life drain as well. Please hit no. Times like these I wish oh wait, actually I do have an auto hit weapon, don't I? Uh oh god. I brought that along. Whoops, a daisy. I actually forgot. Whoops. Uh, I can click on it. Is it. The auto hit is 27. Okay. Yeah, I do have an auto hit weapon in my inventory. 
But I do need to charge it up first, so that's a bit annoying. Do we have enough charges yet? No. Okay, there we go, 80. Alright, auto hit, and then we will empower. And let's go. One more, monumental treasure hoard. Free go, but I always make the suggestion. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's just free potions. Okay, so as I was saying, I always make the suggestions for them to actually go ahead and uh, increase the rewards of the treasure chest because the treasure chest at max level is super duper underwhelming. Even at lower levels, I think it's pretty underwhelming as well. So yeah, it doesn't feel like a big reward of sorts, even though it's supposed to be one. So I hope that they can actually change that soon. Okay, facing the darkness, let's go. So the vote has been cast and Oricarius was selected leader, an able one. From what I know of the Red Wings, I would call it a fitting choice. Defense, my brothers, we are under attack again. Wait, what? Wait, what? I am not looking to attack you. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, this guy hits with light. Yikes, that is going to be painful. Oh my god, 30% to water, okay. Oh, luckily they missed quite a lot, so that's a good thing for us. We'll do PCO here. 90, not good enough for me. Nope. 90 again, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna do it. Ideally, you wanna get 180. Oh my god, that machine gun wing attack. Very cool to look at, but... Not very cool to go up against. 140, that's more like it. Oh my god, yikes. <coughs> Another one, do we get the drop? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Oh my god, triple crit. Holy crap. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna go in this first. Get the free barrier in case I die. And Prime Chaos Orb, come on, work with me. 90, nope. 180, awesome, awesome, awesome. Exactly what I need. 0 0.244 with only one hit, 0 0.047, yep. Basically dealing no damage at all, amazing. The power of choke, guys. Yep, still nothing. Oof, oh my god, 1,900, insane. Okay, and we s the barrier still hasn't even been used up yet. Nice. Next up, Brilhardo Warrior. Should get a full heal, right? Yep, there we go. 4,011. Okay, they all have about 4,000 health and their resistances are about the same. It's just the skills that they use are a little different. Come on, minus 40. Nope, that's horrible. 180. There we go. Oh, I have to skip, right? No, or we can just use spells, even if we can't use regular attacks. Actually, instead of choking, yeah, I'm just gonna finish it. Oh my god, wrong click. Yeah, instead of doing the spell, I'm just gonna finish it off with the attack. Instead of the attack, I'm just gonna finish it off with the spell. What am I even talking about? Brain fart. Okay, Brilhado Warrior again. And then we will do Prime Chaos Orb again. 30, nope. Nope. It's worse. 140, I'll take that. 0 0.412. 0 0.176. Okay, now we can safely kill it. Flying Demon Devourer Minion, okay. Regular attack will do it. There we are. We are defeated, flee brethren. So what in the world is them so riled up, I wonder? Something is rotten in the state of the rent. time to find out what. Your Highness, I thank you for seeing us. I always have time for you, my friend, and for your son. How goes the progress at the temple? It proceeds apace, my lord. Why I wish to speak to you, however, has nothing to do with the temple, at least not directly. It has to do with the damage that has been done to law by the events of the war between the necromancers and the paladins. 
I see, it is a grave concern. How has this affected your people? The necromancer fortress is in chaos. There are signs of a budding civil unrest. But the real concern is that there are those who would seek revenge against them. I believe a war is about to start between vigilantes and the Brujado. What? This is grave news indeed. Surely my citizens have greater respect for me than that. Most Highness do. You know that feelings run deep though, and there are outsiders stirring the pot. A war is coming and I have no dark idea what to do about it. You will fight alongside your people, is what you will do about it, and you will have the crown's aid in your effort. Something is very wrong, the countryside is entirely up in arms. Brihado are moving in large numbers to the west and are all worked up. I am sick of this fight first and ask questions later mentality. Really? That's how we've always been operating, what are you talking about? <laughs> They flee because they know what is coming. And what is that? Vengeance for what they have wrought on law. What? What sort of vengeance? We shall drive them from the face of law. We shall take the war to them. Oh, whatever snakes. Do people never learn? That is a foolish plan. Do you side the Brujado? Several of them are my friends. He is a sympathizer. Let's show him how we deal with Brujado sympathizer, boys. Oh, we just had to say that, right? We could have just lied our way out of it. But no, we gotta be honest, man. Because... That's what heroes stand for, right? Honesty is the best policy. No, honesty is the stupidest policy, honestly. <laughs> yeah, especially in times like these. What the heck? I really wonder what we are being on. Okay, nice. We got 130 now, but we got to skip our turn. Uh, you hit with wind. Oh, wow, that hurts. You know, this was originally... You no, know, I, I can't say originally it was supposed to be wind because... Uh, People wanted it to be win. Yeah, people wanted this armor to be win. In fact, I think almost everybody wanted this armor to be win. But it turned out to be water instead because uh, the Raffle Contest armor was already win. So I guess they didn't have a choice but to make this water. Uh, I guess it's fine. Not that we have like... Oh, wait. Actually, we do have some pretty good water options. So uh, still salty that it's water and not win. But you know what? Uh, it's still a fantastic armor nonetheless, so whatever. Yeah, honestly, it's whatever at this point. My god, we have to face down four of these protesters, don't we? Yep, and they all have 6,000 HP. That is so annoying. Okay, we get the drop, which is good. Come on, 100? No. No. 130? Nice. Okay, so we can't use our skill, but at least we can use our spell. And that is why majors are superior, guys. Do Does your freaking warrior have this option? Does your freaking ranger have this option? No, you... At best, you'll be putting some summon spells inside of here, and then... And then what? When you have to skip your turn with PCO? I mean, not everyone uses PCO, but... When you're forced to skip your turn like that... Yeah, I don't have to, because I can use an offensive spell. I have another option. That is why majors are the superior build, guys. Go for the mage build. That's why I love my mage my majors man i've been a big fan of the mage build ever since i started this game <laughs> yeah i'm still a fan now so it's nice to see that little reminder that i can still use my spells even if i have to skip my regular attacks warriors and rangers will suffer in that aspect though but luckily majors have it good for them 100 come on 130 nice What in the world is the MRM 94? Yeah, I'm still missing a lot more than I like, which is very, very annoying. And a lot of us have already brought up this issue, but uh, apparently it's supposed to be working as intended now, even though many players aren't very happy with the current state of the, ac the accuracy. So I hope maybe the staff can relook uh, re -look at the entire accuracy thing with the stat revamp, but... You know, judging by the way things are going, step revamp is probably going to be next year. So yeah, we just got to suck up and wait. After all, next year is only like what? Less than less than two months away. Guys, can't believe how fast it has been already. It's almost at the end of 2022. It's, it's just crazy. Like man, the year is speeding by. This is insane. Almost at the end of 2022 already. Crazy, man. Feels like nothing much happened this year. Like a lot of things were supposed to happen this year. Like a lot of exciting things. Arc Mage, Stat Revamp, Void Revamp, uh, but none of it happened apparently because reasons and yeah now we gotta wait till next year. I hope they all happen next year though because we've been waiting so long already and it's very disappointing to keep your players waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. 
Uh, I mean, as much as I hate the game by complaining all the time, I do love the game as well because otherwise I wouldn't be playing it. Because I do think the most fun part about Adventure Quest for me is uh, the uniqueness of the equipments, like how versatile they are, how many different varieties of builds we can come up with, different ways of playing the game. Like everyone plays the game different. Well, most people play something meta. There are once in a while I do hear comments from people playing something that's off meta and it's actually working out very well for them. So it's also quite interesting to hear people share their builds and ideas with me. And then inadvertently some of these off meta people may discover something that is like super OP or super strong. And then like yeah, it's uh something that not everyone uses and when it's not publicized a lot, there's also the fact that we uh, there's a lesser chance of it getting, you know, nerfed if it's not noticed often. So yeah, do share your build uh, ideas down with me uh, in the comments below. I love to hear it from everyone. And now that I'm looking at it, I can't unsee this, but why is his throne off center? What the heck? This is clearly off center. Oh, that is so annoying. What the hell? What is this? Come on, why is it off center? Now I can't unsee this, guys. You cannot afford to send all of your forces to the Bruhado Gate Majesty. The stability of the kingdom will not allow it. Indeed not, Deviara, but I can send what I can spare, and I am owed favors. I will coin some debts. I will also contact Korriban. We have worked together on many past events, and I suspect that Korriban too will come to your assistance if you call. Well, it's not like we have a choice, right? Thank you, Majesty. I had not considered that. We would not want to impose, however. The Chosen has many duties, and our personal problems are far from their main concern. They have no love for what my people have done either. The thing is, in some games, it always acts like we have a choice to, you know, uh, act on this or not. But the thing is, if we don't act on it, then there's no game to play. <laughs> and uh, most of the time, that option isn't even present. It's like, we have to call on the hero and of course the hero will always accede to any request for help because that's what they are, right? The hero. Your people are perhaps not. This is more than that, however. This is about the two of you. You still have family there. How about you allow them to make their own decision, Devara? If they can spare the time and effort, they will come. If not, they will not. Sensible, your majesty. I take it that... I take it that is not all you and your son wish to speak to me about. It's indeed not all your majesty. You would like your direct aid in a far more personal matter. Go on. As you know, law is surrounded by a network of lines of power that flow both within and without. Connecting to both the void and to the core of law itself and channeling the energy of those places in the form of ley lines. We have concluded our study of changes induced recently in those circuits. And your findings? I am now certain that the ley lines have been irrevocably altered and damaged by the war. The school of thought has come to much of the same conclusion. Necromancers and paladins both will have to use entirely new avenues. The connections of those lines to the mana core and indeed to the man to the elemental planes have been irrevocably severed by those events. Quite so. And they themselves remain connected though. Your friends Amilara uh, Cagliari and his brethren, they are not progressively dying as a result of these changes. I know that Delna remains intact, but my own arts in this arena no longer function. Indeed not, your majesty. Though there was initial weak weakening, it has since stabilized and reversed. It seems that once the alterations of the necromancers were made, changing living and dead to undead, it fundamentally changed the anima of those affected. Their connection is direct and does not depend upon the necromancers' ley lines. However, I can no longer aid them myself if hurt or injured, nor can I, nor can I deep in here, nor can I protect them. I am sorry, majesty. The matter takes makes me highly emotional. I understand fully, those undead are your loved ones, friends and family. Quite. That is why we are here, your majesty. We are seeking any knowledge we can find about this shift in the necromantic powers. We have not been idle, I assure you, but our search has yet to bear much fruit. The school of thought has been investigating since the, ma since the magic changed after the war. At first they studied vampires, but as yet we have not, but as yet we have not learned anything useful. They become true infection so we are unable to learn how necromantic magic will create them or under or other undead one thing seems certain that though there is a link of some kind between paladins and necromancers and the source of their powers we don't know what that link is yet but both appear to revolve around creating or opposing undead it is the only explanation for why both powers cease to work at the same time the researchers at the school moved on to look for ancient archives of the oldest order of paladins while many of those we find have already been destroyed or looted some of our researchers have encountered necromancers. Practicing necromancers, but but how? Not practicing necromancers, no. Their power over undeath is still lost. 
but to study necromancy, you must first be an accomplished wizard, so you have been unable to capture any of them when we've encountered them. They must have realized the same thing you did about the link between the magics. Just so, and they are taking on destroying anything they can find to deny us the same knowledge. But we will continue to search for new clues, and if we learn anything, I'll make sure to share with you. We appreciate it more than you know, Majesty. Until we solve this mystery, I fear some of our people walk a dangerous path trying to reclaim power. For instance, Shroud Brute the Undying has proven that particular epif the epithet falls in his mad quest. I have no idea what the heck they are talking about. He was delving into dangerous knowledge. I'll have now sent you to the notes... I will have now sent you the notes from the school archives, and I will also contact Korriban. You should prepare to travel to the gate. Let us hope your people are not more cagey than you might expect. Some experiments could more than destroy them. And so Korriban, we suggested that Devara seek your aid in determining the severity of the situation. Of course, your majesty, Devara and Amala should never have even hesitated. I will find out what I can at once. To be perfectly honest, your majesty, were, were any other Bruhado, I'll be inclined to let them fend for themselves. But as this involves the Saligras, I'll make time. I trust that as this are, is of interest to the crown and the stability of your kingdom, that you'll make the effort worth my while, wow, majesty. Finally, wait, are we finally given a choice of dialogue? Whoa, I, I swear I did not read through this beforehand, or at least not in detail, I just merely glanced over it to look at how many battles and how long the dialogue was, but whoa! Just as I was talking about it, wow, this is a huge coincidence. We are finally given a choice to say something of our own accord, but does it affect the quest in any way? I wonder. Uh, I, I'm i gonna say this because I'm a dick. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think it really matters what you say. You still have to fight, right? Yeah, actually... I don't think it matters at all. Maybe it affects your alignment or something, your moral compass, but then again, the moral compass has never been... Oh god, 100% freaking hell. Oops, a daisy. Yeah, then again, the moral compass has never been used or talked about in eons, so there's also that. Yeah, uh, okay, so I guess uh, the alignment, the whatever your dialogue choice is doesn't affect the quest at all. Because supposedly it will affect your moral compass, I think, but the moral compass is literally never used, so it's not affected. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Undead mage. Oh, this guy can do a lot of damage. Oh my god, we'll just nuke. Ninety-two. Okay. Yikes. Oh, and this guy's lucky strikes are hit pretty hard. Please kill it. Oh my god. 391. Okay. Full heal. Plant dragon. Very weird. We get undead and we get dragons and we get worms. Huh. Very, very weird indeed. Wait, only 75? Whoops, a daisy. Yikes, I forgot. Okay, let's do prime chaos up. 110. Okay, that's more like it. Too lazy to unequip this, I'll just leave this equipped. I think it doesn't matter. 0 0.301, okay. Zero 0.0115, uh, you know what, let me just eat the choke now. For the boost, 1.8 times for 5 rounds. Awesome. I'll dismount here, and because we are in a water armor, we will defend pretty well against this attack. Our earth is also 60, which is still okay. So yeah, we're not gonna take a lot of damage. Yep, that is very manageable. Oh nice, 254 left. I think can just cut him up with the X on the next turn. And there we go. Shadow Black. Oh my god, this is an annoying one. Yep. Energy is 130. Shall we just... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna spam the spell. Oh nice, Lucky Strike. This guy also doesn't have a lot of health. Yeah, I think I'll just do the spell for two turns and kill him. Please don't miss. 91 should hit, right? Yep, there we go. What is this? The meeting is on for tonight at the inn in Duran. The beginning of the end of the Brujado Scourge is at hand. Yes, and we just find it conveniently lying around, of course, right? Two angry protesters. Okay, but they are under level, so I guess that's a good thing. 100% uh, we'll take that 
Berserk. Target is enraged as if they were trapped on a boat for years. Target takes a minus 20 penalty to BTH and deals 130% damage. Okay. It seems that not everyone in Battle On is a fan of your... Oh yeah, okay. It's the same dialogue. But this one has... I think the artwork here is updated, right? Yeah, you, you look at it. The, the armor is definitely updated. Who still remembers the old angry protesters? It was a female angry protester, right? With like the signboard uh, with your face on it. And then... <laughs> yeah, the, the old angry protesters, I guess they were quite iconic in some of Adventure Quest as well. What do you guys think? Yeah, I personally feel the, the old angry protesters were pretty iconic. At least to me. I don't know about you guys, man. What do you guys think? I think we'll need two more turns. Yep. <laughs> One more turn. There we are. Evil Tiki. Man, how many battles are there? Oh god, this one has 8,000 health. And we'll need to prime Pure Swap as well. 60, no. Zero. Minus 100. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, that is annoying. Win, okay. A little big dictionary, what the heck. Oh, Spellcraft is disabled. Whoops, a daisy. Oh my god. 180, finally. God damn it. Took them long enough. Oh, he resisted. Oh god, this is bad. Okay. Oh yeah, he has to st spend a turn charging up the mana or something, right? Why does he keep resisting? What the hell? Okay, charging again. Come on, please. Finally, 0 0.244. That's what I'm talking about. Right on time. Okay, let's just do this. I think they should kill it. Yup, with the lucky strike. Oh, 192. Come on. Okay, next. Veteran Hunting Rock. Minus 50% to water. Ooh. Uh, Prime Chaos Orb. Oh. Minus 100. No, we can get it to 200. Oh, 150? 150 is pretty good. Uh, yeah, 150 is pretty good. Oh, or we can just do the energy nuke. Because it's 200% to energy. Uh, this one is a max level. 90? I shouldn't be missing too much with 90 MRM, right? Uh, we can just nuke it down. There we are. Next, Razor. Wait, how many freaking battles is this quest? I know it's at least 16. At least. Have we gone through 16 yet? Wait, 16 or 12? Actually, I can't remember. I think it's at least 12. Yeah, at least 12. I think it's like 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken. Could be more, if I didn't read it properly. Oh my god, almost half an hour long quest. Man, the old quests are really super duper long. What a delightful sense of timing you have, Karban. Oh my god, wow. This brings back a lot of memories. The Ren Mansion Estate, anyone? That used to be the best house or the most expensive house back in the day before Sky Castle got released. Wow, that was my home for years, man. And this, this background brings back a lot of memories. Oh, I was about to call the guard. Things are not well. How so? I feel my inn is being used as part of some fantastic plot that borders on treachery. And that is just not lovely at all. Let's not disrupt this meeting. I will allow us to gather information on the insurgency. I'll keep things under control, Jan. Just go back to looking fabulous. That's where I excel, evidently. <laughs> the king seeks stability as he must, but his vision is clouded. Brilhado keep close watch in his court and the Saligra family are his close advisors. And... The Saligras have fought hard in many wars against this kingdom and in others. Amilara has been a staunch ally from the beginning, and Gilera Saligra gave his life for the people of law. And Devara Saligra, whatever service he has since rendered, brought the Devourer to our doorstep. He killed the Tipalo of Kelner in cold blood and countless others. My human colleague is right. The Bruhado brought the Uncreator to this realm, and their necromancy has been a constant source of blight on the whole of law. With the Chufma attack on your people, Kruatri, I would think you have other concerns. Do you really want to plunge the last vestige of Draco's stability into chaos as well? I'm Dimita, not a citizen. That distinction is meaningless in the Ren. 
Millennia of history do not change in a moment, and uh, what I want or do not want is frankly irrelevant. Change is coming, and we are to suffer or profit from that depends on the choices we make. Rihado have held the rent and law in fear for far too long. It's time these demons are put to rest for good. By starting a war of our own, they have been dealt a blow by the death of their dark arts, but even now they experiment with fell forces that could bring utter calamity. It could bring total elemental collapse. Elemental collapse? That is correct, chosen of law. Elemental collapse. Why do they feel the need to repeat that three freaking times? No wonder the dialogue is always so long. Oh yes, we know who you are and that you have been sent to spy on our assembly. We receive word from the role of your inquiries. What you see here is but one assembly. Many more such meetings occur. The time of the Brujado ascendancy is at its end. So, so choose chosen. Do you side the Brujado or with justice? Do you side with demons or with right? You seem to have a bit of a false dichotomy. There are other options. No, if you are not with us, you are against us. Why does that sound like freaking Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Man, to arms, against this traitor to law. Ah, <sighs> yes, more fighting. Okay, mercenary. Well, someone doesn't like you very much now, do they? Yes, but I really don't care if people like me or not. Oh, we miss. Even though it's 91-91, come on. You serious? There we go. Zero point four seven one. Ah, resisted. Uh, one hit better than nothing. Does this guy have higher MRM than normal? It's 91, right? To all, why am I missing so much? Please tell me the regular attacks will do it. Please. Okay, nice. Another one. How many more are there? Yeah, this quest is pretty freaking long. God, and I was hoping for a short quest. I guess I was wrong. Ah. Uh. At least this quest was a lot more interesting than the Chufma Saga. Yeah, I felt that this was more interesting than the freaking Chufma Saga storylines. What do you guys think? I ju I'm just not a fan of the Chufma Saga, I guess. And it's a lot... I don't know, it feels less tedious for some reason than the Chufma Saga. Like, uh, from doing this quest, I don't feel as tired or like... I don't feel like I want to freaking end this damn quest immediately. I mean, I, I still do because it's gotten on for a bit too long already, but it's no any as bad as the Chufma quest. Like, the Chufma ones are really like super boring, super long, super tedious, and I'm like, please, I don't ever want to do this torture again. This one, not so bad. Maybe because there's a lot of bright colors and the enemies are kind of easy, I guess. So you see, Majesty, the news is dire. From what my other inquiries have determined, these mercenaries do not seem Duranian. They seem politically and geographically, geographically unaffiliated lot. Their purpose is profiteering. This is dire news indeed. Thank you for your assistance, Corban. I may need to call on you again. Of course, this battle is just beginning. Lord President, he was far experimenting in direct tenebromancy and mana channeling in an attempt to twist it into a necromantic effect. Is this true grim view? It is, and I make no apology for it. Our people are necromancers. We have long been necromancers. I seek only to regain what has been stolen from us. Can I just say this weapon, even though I can't see the full thing, it looks so cool. Like, it looks like it's half fire, half ice. You need to put your quest for necromancy aside. You may do whatever else you wish. You, may, you might consider a return to Our Lady. Many have. Or else what? Or else as elected leader of the Brujado, I will have no choice but to exile you from the fortress. You will not. You could not be so cruel. We do not wish to do so, given a war brewing, but we have no choice. Your continued experimentation could kill all of us if it goes out of control. No, you are a surplus and I refuse to recognize your authority. It is I and not the Gold Wings who should lead the Brujado. It is I who was appointed as my father's successor. The time of appointment has passed, Grimview. Your father is dead, and the people made their choice known at the election. Bah. Grimview, I said your father's side. It was his arrogance and vain quest for glory and power that led to his death. You need to let it go. No, no, no. I am my father's successor. My father may have been betrayed and slain, but short brute li lives on. He lives on in me. Then we have no choice. Guards, I refuse to accept this. You will pay. You hear me? You will all pay. 
Greenville, son of Shroud Brood. For the safety of all of our people, you are hereby banished and exiled from the Brujado Gate Fortress. Brujado Gate Necromancer's Fortress. No longer. Take him. Powers have mercy on him. He is only his father's son. And, oh, finally, that is the end of the quest. Oh boy, wow, I haven't had such a long episode in a, quite a while, right? <laughs> Facing the darkness, what do you have? Auricarius, mace and dagger. Is it the weapon that we saw? Oh, yes, it is. Why does it look so small here? That's the dagger. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, the mace looks amazing. Uh, looks like this is just a simple swap between fire and ice. Why is this level 143? almost thought this was for tokens. That would have been really stupid considering the effect. But looks like we just don't have a max level version of this. But I have to say, the artwork is amazing. It's like, what, freaking 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, the effect and the level, however, doesn't make it useful practically. So I'm going to have to skip it. And that's going to do it for today's lengthy episode, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.